Yo, what is up, homies? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the Homie Hector's channel. So check this today inside a 2004 Nissan Marrano with a ABS concern. Customer has an ABS light that's on and she doesn't want the light on. So we're gonna hook it up to my a scanner. Entonces, vamos a hacer el video en inglés and in Spanish para que todos lo entiendan what I'm doing. And luego de ahí vamos a arreglarlo one step at a time. So, quédense aquí, watch the video, denle un thumbs up y suscríbanse si no han suscribido. Vámonos a arreglar ese carro. Ok, ok. All right, I got the scanner hooked up right here. El scanner está conectado. Vamos a ver. Lo que queremos ver es what's in the ABS. So, I'm going straight to the ABS a ver qué pedo ahí. Y and this car only has ABS solamente. So, we're going to continue here. And we're gonna go straight into code a ver qué pedo ahí. Alright, give it a little while para que se load up. Y ahorita vamos a ver. So, come on, it's kind of slow. Put it away. Okay, we have a C1101 right rear wheel speed sensor circuit abierto or short. Okay, so right rear wheel speed sensor. We gotta go to the back wheel. And see what um, what we see up there. I'm gonna start with a visual inspection to see if there's anything wrong with it uh, visually. Maybe it's cut. Maybe it's unplugged. You know, no sabemos todavía. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna lift the car. And vamos a ver qué hay atrás. Okay. So let's go lift the car up. Actually, before I uh, go lift the car up and start checking it out, yeah, I got the I, I got all four ABS sensors right here on the on the scanner, and I'm just gonna go drive it para ver si tiene algo, you know, algo, you know, something different, something out of range. So the one that I'm focusing on is the right rear, this one, right rear. Um, let's go uh, drive it real quick, just you know, a couple of seconds, a ver si sale algo raro aquí. So let's drive, vamos a manejar, a ver, what the hell's going on here? Okay, just real slow, real slow, despacito por aquí. Mira, vamos a ver, ya, ya noté algo raro aquí. Okay, so right here, you can see that there's movement on the left, both left sensors, uh, the front right, pero no hay nada en el right rear, okay? So acá arriba a la derecha, no hay nada, zero miles per hour. So there's definitely something wrong up in there. So ahorita vamos para atrás al taller, vamos a levantar el carro y vamos a ver... ¿Qué pedo ahí? Vamos a ver. All right, check this out, homies. Um, so here's the ABS wire. Let's see, right here. Uh, it goes right here, bolts on, and it picks up off the, um, there's a tone ring in there. Just checking the wiring up in here. Everything looks good. No se ve nada roto, no se ve, no, no se ve cortado. So it looks like it's all intact. I just gotta find where the connector is, and uh, we can do some testing at the connector. Now, if you don't know how the ABS system works and what voltage you're supposed to have and whatnot, well, you have a good sensor on the left rear that you can test and you can compare the readings to the one on the right. So uh, you don't need a wiring diagram. All you got to do is make some tests, do some tests acá en el lado izquierdo. And then the same test that you do over here, los puede hacer acá en el lado derecho. Okay, so ahorita voy a buscar los connectors and then uh, para hacer unos testing uh, tests and then a ver qué, qué fue lo que le encontramos. Okay, so déjame agarrar una luz and then we'll take a closer look up in here to see where the connectors are at so we can start testing all right guys over here under the truck i found the two connectors for the abs so this one right here goes to the left and this one right here goes to the derecho okay so what i'm gonna do right now real quick is i'm just gonna use my uh voltmeter right here i'm gonna set it on voltage and i'm just gonna see right here i'm gonna back probe it i'm gonna back probe this one because i know that this one's good this one, I know there's a problem over here, so ese lo voy a dejar ahorita. I'm gonna back probe this and see what I have here, real quick. So I just got two back probes like this. Dos little agujitas, okay? I'm gonna put the black one on the top one. That and the red one on the 
that? So, let me show you. All right, so back probe down the right rear speed sensor. You can see that I have battery voltage. I got 12.6 volts. All right, so I know this is an own good circuit. I'm supposed to have 12 volts on there. What I'm gonna do is unplug this, and at the same time, I'm gonna do a resistance check while I'm already plugged in, and I'm gonna see what kind of resistance I'm supposed to have on this side. So right now, I'm gonna unplug it and see what's there. Okay. All right, look, I unplugged the right rear speed sensor, and the lado derecho está desconectado, so now we're gonna check the resistencia. So come over to my voltmeter and switch it over to ohms. I've got 2.9 mega ohms. All right, so that's the resistance of the speed sensor, the whole harness down to the to the sensor over here. You see that? Right there. So this same test that I did here with the voltage and the resistance on the right side, I'm gonna do it on the left side. Y vamos a ver lo que tenemos ahí. All right, you can see right here, I'm on the left rear speed sensor. I got this connector. Uh, going out to my voltmeter, I got battery voltage. So I know that everything from the ABS module down to these two harnesses is good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna unplug it, and I'm gonna check the resistance of this harness, which is the ABS speed sensor that comes in over here on the right rear wheel. So let me unplug it real quick, and we're gonna see what's on there. And based on that, we're gonna see where we go from here, okay? So, vamos a desconectarlo y a checar la resistencia. All right, there it is. You guys can see the sensor desconectado right there. So, now my leads are going down to my voltmeter, but I gotta switch it over to Omnios para ver la resistencia. And you can see right there, OL means open circuit. Well, there's your problem, lady. Ahí está tu problema, vieja. Okay, so from here, down to the sensor over here, we got an open circuit. So this sensor right here has to be changed. There's nothing wrong inside the tone wheel. We, can't, we don't know that yet. But over here, we know we have a problem. When you see open circuit here, zero L, that's no good. Uh, you guys saw the difference right here. You know, you can see comparing left to right. You can see, you can clearly see a difference in resistance. We, both of these harnesses have 12 volts coming down to them, but open circuit here, about two point something mega ohms right there. So the, uh, the customer wants to do it. And if they do, I'll show you guys the after to see what it looks like. And then um, we can verify the repair with a quick test drive afterwards. Cause this, all right, homies, customer approved this ABS sensor. So I'm gonna start taking it off right here, okay? 10 mil. You're gonna need one of these. So you can unclip it from the um, from the frame. I gotta show you something right now that I take it off. All right, look, I was taking off the sensor and this is what I found. So it's a pretty big sensor, but when I took it off, this happened. Can you see that? Look, this connector just fell apart. Okay, so that right there is even more proof that our sensor is a problem. So, um, I don't know, I'm waiting for the new one to get here. Then once the new one gets here, I'm gonna ohm test that one just to check the resistance of it. And then I'm gonna connect it and I'll give the wheel a spin and we'll look at it on the scanner to see so we can verify the repair. But this right here, no bueno homies, no bueno. Vale verga, vale verga. So yeah, it's just a matter of waiting right now for the part to get here and then um, finishing it up. So, espereme aquí, ahorita vengo. Boom! All right, homies, got the new part in. Here's the part number for those of you that want to know. It's SU12671 from Duralast. Uh, so we're gonna see if it works or not. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is just do a quick resistance check of the ABS sensor, just to make sure that we don't have an open circuit in a new sensor. So just gotta touch the pins here on the new connector. This one is intact. 
So I got my ohm meter set on resistance, set on ohms. And um, here, I'll keep you guys focused on the ohm meter while I touch the pins together, okay? Okay, here we go. Touching them together right there. 2.9 mega ohms. That's pretty close to what the other one on the left rear read. So, so far, so good. This sensor looks like it's okay right now. It's got everything back in place. You can see right there, it's bolted on. It's routed properly so that it doesn't get pinched or kinked um, up here on the frame. It's buttoned up. Every clip is where it's supposed to be. So, para que no haya problemas, okay? So everything goes back in place where it's supposed to. What I'm gonna do right now is put on this wheel right here, hook up the scanner, and just give it a little spin to make sure that I got speed. And then we'll go on a little test drive afterwards, all right? So let's go do that. All right, guys, got the scanner hooked up right here. What I'm gonna do is just deselect all the pids and I'm only gonna leave the speed sensors, okay? Same thing like earlier. Now all I'm gonna do is come over here and give this tire a spin. And you gotta keep an eye right here. This is the right rear tire. All right, all I'm gonna do is spin in the tire and you can see that it's working. All right, so I'm gonna call this one a fix. I'm gonna put everything back together, torque the tire. And then we're going to go on a little test drive, so vamonos. All right, guys, got my four speed sensors up here again on the screen. We're going to go on a quick test drive. I've already cleared the ABS light. I cleared the codes from there, so we're all good to go there. I just want to see that I don't have any dropouts as I'm driving. I don't have any glitches or none of that. So I want to see all the speed sensors to be evenly on the screen, uh, evenly displayed, you know, with no dropouts or glitches to make sure that we got a, a good sensor in there. So um, uh, let me just go on a quick test drive to verify my repair and vamonos. Everything's looking good so far. There it is, right rear sensor on the top right of your screen. Sorry about the glare again, but it is what it is. All right, everything's working as it should. All right, homies, that's it. Quick and easy way to check your ABS or wheel speed sensors, whatever you want to call it. But um, that's how you do it. One thing you could have done also was swap the left rear for the right rear sensor and then going back to your scanner and see if you would have had any changes. That would have been a good way, but I didn't want to do that because this sensor had a bunch of clips um, that hold it onto the frame rail. And once you take those clips off, those clips tend to break. And I don't want to do that. So just doing the voltage check, the resistance check, that's enough to verify that you have a bad sensor. Did a little quick test drive, showed you guys the graphs. Everything's good to go on this one. 2004 Nissan Murano. Uh, but this works on pretty much any wheel speed sensor. And that's it, homies. Hopefully you guys learned something, took something away from this one. If you did, don't forget to like the video, share it with somebody, and leave me a little comment down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys on the next one, homies. Peace out.